Imagine the excitement of a couple expecting their very first child. Now imagine the fear when at 23 weeks your pregnant wife becomes suddenly ill. So ill that she's rushed to hospital 100 kilometers away from home. And you are told the only thing that will make her better is delivering the baby 17 weeks early. That is the story of Hazel, who was born extremely premature and weighed under a pound. Wow. Hazel's early arrival posed many challenges for her new family, but Variety was there each step of the way to ensure that Hazel had a chance not only to survive, but to thrive. Hey, come in. You know, it's weird. It feels like years ago, but then at the same time, it feels like just yesterday. Like, those memories are really vivid. And when we were here, like, you couldn't have really imagined this day. Like, you hope for it, and you try and picture it, and you're like, yeah, okay, someday. So I didn't imagine those kind of emotions. So it's really cool. 23 weeks into her pregnancy, Ashley was diagnosed with HELP syndrome, a life-threatening liver disorder. Ashley was rushed to Royal Columbian Hospital for the best treatment of HELP syndrome, delivery. I was in a really critical condition at that point, so they skipped the ultrasound and said, we can't wait any longer, we need to deliver the baby right now. It's, you're deteriorating really quickly. Hazel was born four months early, weighing less than a pound, just 420 grams. My biggest fear was, with her being so early, that um, she was going to be born and would pass away before I ever got to meet her because I was going to be in recovery for so many hours. Jeff came in and told me, Ash, we have a baby girl. And I was like, in my head, I was like, have, we have a baby girl, because I was totally listening for him to say had. So that was pretty cool to hear that we have, have yeah. a baby girl. Yeah. yeah. Hazel spent six long months in the Variety Neonatal Intensive Care Unit at Royal Columbian, something no parent can expect or prepare for. You don't anticipate to be there for six months, and you can't really fathom what six months is either, right? Because if somebody told me now, oh, you'll be, you know, you're going to be spending six months in the hospital with your kid, you'd be like, yeah, right, that's, <laughs> that's impossible. But it wasn't impossible. It was their new reality. And six months in hospital meant unforeseen expenses associated with Hazel's lengthy stay. Fortunately, Variety, the children's charity, offers an emergency response fund to hospitals throughout the province. The emergency response fund helped cover Jeff and Ashley's unexpected costs and allowed them to focus on the thing that mattered most, caring for their tiny new baby. It's a fund that the social workers can use for families of babies that are here who need assistance with a place to stay, they can get gas money, they can have parking, what they need so that they can be here with their baby as much as possible. We view the babies and the parents as a package deal when they're here, and the babies don't do as well without their families here. So the better we can help the parents do, the better the babies do. It's a win-win situation. We were given a, a stack of gift cards, Yep. Um, for groceries and for food and gas. So that helped from Variety really... Um, helped us focus, focus on her and just be there for her. Yeah, it all helps. It's, it's a difficult situation to be in when you've got the stresses of a baby or a child that's sick, right? here with the beautiful Hazel and the beautiful bow she's got in her hair as well as her parents Ashley and Jeff. Ashley, Jeff, thank you very much for being here today. Hazel, thank you for being here today. You are very, very cute. Uh, your story is so incredible, but we're not even eight months pregnant and now you have a tiny baby girl. So maybe tell us just the journey for you. How has it been and how are you doing right now? That's the big question. Uh, we're doing good now. It's, uh, it was pretty scary when everything came down to it. <laughs> Oh yeah, you can grab that if you want, Hazel. That's all yours. <laughs> um, but now things are good. It's you know, and during the heat of it, you don't really see that light at the end of the tunnel. But we're past that light, and she's doing good, and I'm doing good. So. Yeah. Oh hey, this is you, future broadcaster for sure, Hazel. You look good. <laughs> and Jeff, yes. you you mentioned how small she was. You talked to our producers. Maybe talk to about uh, just that for you as a father. What was that like? How small was she and what was that like? Well, so she was born 
0.95 pounds, and we we eventually found out that that was pretty much the the weight of a, a mini bag of marshmallows, which is wow. pretty pretty insane when you think about it. But right. um, she grew pretty fast, and we were just we were just there for her, and yeah, she's made it. She's made it. It's what is that everything done? is great. What was the journey like for your family? What was it? I mean, it, uh, it's immediately to to bring you guys that close together. We kind of just had to hunker down and realize. There's nothing we can do about the situation, but kind of go forward and make the most of it. And right. And yeah. And actually, you had to. You were doing a whole lot of driving. I understand. Yes. Yeah. We live in Chilliwack, so it was a lot of back and forth um, from Chilliwack to New Westminster, where Hazel was um, every every day. So it, it was hard. It was exhausting. I mean, you're dealing with the stress of the NICU. <laughs> she looks. She wants. She wants this microphone. Sure. Hazel, you can have it. There we go. Nice and fluffy and cute. <laughs> maybe talk about, no, yeah, no, maybe don't eat that. That's not dietary. That's well, okay. She's got it. Uh, maybe talk to us about the support of Variety, what it's meant to you guys through this time. Yeah, so her, uh, her incubator was donated by Variety, and she was in the incubator for... Uh, for two months. For two months. Two months. Yeah. Um, the scale that she was weighed almost every day was donated by Variety. Um, they allowed us to stay out close to her when it was kind of the first um, kind of traumatic, traumatic time for us. So for sure. we were able to stay close, close with her and, and kind of figure some things out before we could start making trips from Chilliwack every day. Yeah, and you it's, guys are a nice tight trio here. That's what's it, what's that's the future it. looking bright for? It's, everything's yeah. looking good. Yeah, everything looks good. Hazel is, uh, she's healthy, she's happy. <laughs> yes, you are. Hi. Something to say. Hi there, Hazel. Would you like to say something? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's cold shoulder, I understand. Now, I understand Hazel spent a lot of time indoors, especially with all the smoke from last year's wildfire. She was on an oxygen tank. We know that you guys love to travel. Hazel has not been able to spend any time at the beach and go swimming because of her health. Well, to thank you for sharing your story and coming here today, uh, we have invited our friends Shannon from BC Ferries Vacation to come down here because she has something very special for your family. Hello, Shannon, thank you. Oh, we have quite the array of things here. What do we have here, Pam? Uh, BC Ferries Vacations would like to give your family a Parksville getaway. Uh, this includes round trip ferry on, or travel on the ferry, as well as a two night stay at the Tynamara Seaside Spa Retreat. Wow. You'll be staying in a spa bungalow suite, which is just minutes away from the beach, so you guys can enjoy Hazel's first experiences together. Wow. Thank you very much. Nope. Thank you so much.